Hello again. I thought as long as I fixed it, I may as well just not reload and save everybody having to look at the loading screen for 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So let's keep going. Ugh. Okay. We have a new guerrilla operation. So we can't do it because we don't have any squads that are ready. They're all infiltrating. Once again, we can't do anything. Uh, that was this supply raid getting to 100%. Let's see, how long do we have left? There, the enemy readiness is still normal, so I think I'll let that keep going. Got another new guerrilla operation. This will give us an engineer, but we don't have any squads. Oh, finish the alloy plating. Let's see, do we have anything we can build in the proving grounds? We could build the hazmat vest. I'm gonna assume that's a one-time thing. I'll send word when the project is complete. So for these, we don't have enough scopes or whatever. Do we have any of them? No. Okay, we'll need more lyrium cores. And the only way we can get those is by uh, picking them up as loot in missions. So here we go. Oh, we've almost completed the power coil shielding. Somebody joined the Haven. So let's go there. Here we go. See, it's working now. Okay, I'm going to put them on supply. Because we are really low on supplies all the time. Okay. Was that... Yep, that was another one getting to 100%. We have a grill operation. That will give us somebody who I don't think is on our character pool. And it's also a very short time, so I'm not going to do it. And we've shielded the power coil. Which means we can build a power relay if we had enough supplies. Let's see, I'm going to leave the engineers not doing anything. And I'm going to go to the uh, black market. And we need 120 supplies. So we're currently at 41. Market is open. Let's see what we can sell. Uh, we could sell the data pad. That only gives us intel. So, actually, I'm not sure. Advent data pad might give us... No, it's just intel. Okay. I was thinking it might be uh, the ability to find an advent location, but I guess not. Let's see. Do we have anything else that's worth a lot? We have a lot of corpses. We have a faceless corpse. We have a laser cannon. I don't want to get rid of that, though. Uh, we have this PCS, advanced conditioning, plus 2 HP. Okay, here's what I'll do. I will sell a bunch of corpses. That's up to 78. We have 41. Okay, that's more than enough, so I'm going to back off a little. There we go. So... Now, we can build our power relay. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, okay. excavation, or staffing a facility. So that's three engineers to clear that one, two engineers to clear this one. We'll do the two engineer one. We could do the three engineer one with just one engineer, but I don't know. It wouldn't be as fast, and we wouldn't get the engineers back as fast. Okay, so that's four days. Okay. And then we will have a lot of power suddenly. Let's see, how long is that? Four hours? Okay. Let's go back to the Haven, and we might run out of time right then, and then we could do the mission. Nope, we can scan a little. Now we gotta do it. Okay. Launch mission. So this is going to be a... Oh, this is not the one I thought was first. Okay. This is Operation Hammer Prince, which is a hack the workstation and find a lead thing. Okay. I thought it would be the supply raid first, but I guess not.
All right. So we gotta hack the workstation. And then... I guess that's it. I'm assuming we have to evacuate out. Okay, there we go. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Okay. On my way. Let's get people moving. This is the mission where we have the Skulljack. So, okay, there's a drone. As long as we aren't seen by that, it doesn't matter. Uh, we could go up here. I'm not gonna do that yet. Let's move the rookie up. Oh uh, no, he can't get up and also be able to attack, so... Let's move the rookie to this truck. Stepping off. I mean, the rookie couldn't get up there and also move out of the way of that top part. And this... Okay, do we have anyone who can get up and get past the first tile? And also be in cover? I know that's probably asking a lot, but... Nope. Nobody's going to be able to be in cover up there, so nobody's going up there on this turn. Okay. Out. Put the ranger up there. Okay. I guess we just keep moving people we'll up in there. And then we will be able to attack the drone. And I guess we'll put the sniper there. All right. Drone's moving away from us. Okay. Now I can put somebody on the roof. Let's see if we can see anything from there. Nope, nothing. Pistol overwatch. Okay. We'll move the ranger up. Still nothing. Should we hack that tower? Let's find out. We can always back out. Send the gremlin over. Okay. So we have a 37% chance that nearby enemy groups will be alerted to our position. But soldier crit chance increased by 25, I'm assuming, on the medic. We could try it. If we succeed, this also disables the tower. Yep, we got it. Okay. So that tower is disabled. And we can move. Oh, that's even better. Moving out. All right. Uh, there's the drone there. Uh, we could move there. I don't know if that would be the best plan. Let's move a little closer to where we are. Hmm. Could put 
put something on the other side of that cover. Oh. Oh, okay. They just saw a burger or something? I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Here's our rookie. Put the rookie over here. And we can move the shinobi. Let's go here, because there's the train. We don't see anyone, though. Okay, there goes the drone. Still moving away from us. Okay, there's the place to have. So let's get the specialist to move closer there. Uh, I could go there. Oh no, that's not cover. That's open. So I'm gonna go here instead. Got it. Don't see anyone though. Let's go Ooh. here. Enemy sighted. Oh, there's the enemies, and there is an officer. So we do need to get the officer skulljacked. We should attempt to disable it with the skulljack. Okay. I'm gonna leave them there for now. Let's see, where can I move people that will help? To move there, because that tower doesn't detect us, because it's turned off. And Overwatch. Uh they're fine. I'm pretty sure there's no advent in that part of the train because the shinobi didn't see them. Let's hope I'm right. Yep. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. All right. And we will move the sniper over here. Oh no, we can't get to that wall, so we'll go here. We'll do. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we have the recruit, or the rookie, or whatever they're called. Rolling. Move them up a little, and then overwatch. overwatch. Okay, we've got the ranger, we've got the shinobi. Let's use the ranger to shoot at the engineer. We've got a very high chance to hit. Okay. So here we go. Let's see how this turns out. Shinobi get the Skulljack on this turn? Yes, we can. Let's use the Skulljack. We got a 70% chance to hit. So if we don't hit, we got to do this on a different mission. There we go. So we don't we don't really care about the intel. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Well, let's access the network codex unrestricted. Here we go. Okay, that's an engineer, so he's gonna shoot a flashbang. I'm not worried about that. Oh, 
The Codex can teleport, and it can also clone itself if we hit it. And also it has this ability, which unloads the weapons of anyone who's hit by it initially, and it also will deal damage to anyone who's still in it. Okay. So thankfully this thing will tell me who is going to stay in it. They're overwatching over there, so... I guess... Yeah, I'll have to take that. That did damage, so that's all we needed. That disabled the overwatch. Okay. So let's move out of the psionic bomb. And we've got a free reload, so we can do that. And I will leave them there for now. Uh, we've got the specialist. Let's move out of the psionic bomb, first of all. Wait, is, is the codex in its own psionic bomb? Yes, it is. That is weird. So if the codex doesn't move out of that psionic bomb, it's going to get hit by it. Okay, we've got the advent sentry and the advent engineer. They've both got one health. Let's just hit one of them. Hopefully. Nope. 48% is, like, very time. much below 51, even. Or maybe even 50. It's crazy. This game lies about probability. Okay, so we could shoot the Codex. I'm gonna overwatch. Uh, over here, we can get in. See, we're not gonna get hit by the psionic bomb unless they were there. So let's go here. And now we're flanking the Codex. Let's do that. We did three damage. But now the Codex gets to split. It clones itself and each part of the bit loses half of the health. I have never seen anything like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Let's see, I could go here, or would here be better? I think I'll go this way. Okay, so we can get one half of the Codex down, assuming that hits, which you probably will. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe we can't get one half of the Codex down. Well, it's going to clone, and then one of the clones is going to instantly die. Okay, and thankfully it was the clone over here. Let's see, that codex is inside. Uh, we've got 12%, 12%, 2%. I don't think there's anywhere safe we can move in one turn on this character. So I'm going to have them run uh, back up onto the roof. Uh, I, should, I should make sure that they're not within range of another psionic bomb with a bunch of our soldiers, so I'm going to put them back here, behind this cover. Location confirmed. Objective in range. Okay. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. Here comes the psionic bomb. It hit the codex, which is crazy. The codex was... The codex has so far dealt the most damage to codexes. Okay. All misses, that's good. And they're gonna overwatch. So we've got two overwatching soldiers with one health each. Uh, I do not have the ability that makes me immune to overwatch on there. Let's get rid of the codex. There we go. Okay, we got the Codex brain. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plan. Okay, we did not hit the sentry. We can't move this character, because they'll be hit by the Overwatch. We can't move in here, 
he'll be hit by the Overwatch. We could shoot at the Engineer. Well, let's do it. There we go. 55% is about twice as likely to hit as 45%. And we have Death from Above, which means we can reposition. But I'm not going to yet. Actually, maybe I should reload on them. Yeah, I'm going to reload. Let's reload. Ready to engage. Okay. So we could run up to that. I'm not going to run up to them. Got 26% chance to hit if we don't move. We could actually just run in and hit them. But they would probably damage us. Okay, we can't move there. Can we get anywhere near? Okay, so moving off of this tile forward would reveal us. Okay. Well, it's probably a waste, but let's use suppression. Enemy locked out. And now we can move the uh, specialist closer. Roger that. Which means on the next turn we'll be able to hack the computer. And we can move the shinobi. Come on. Move the shinobi. There we go. We're going to have the shinobi take out the sentry. Okay. Happy now? This looks valuable. Got a PCS. It's over here. Okay, let's start moving people forward cuz I think we're going to have to evacuate on this mission at the end. So everyone should be in the same general area. Copy that. All right. There is more enemies. If my frame rate would be okay. Okay. So we've got a mech. An extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Okay, we've got a mech, we've got a gunner, and we've got a trooper. Let's see, we could kill the gunner, and we'd be in we'd be in uh, cover. We could attack the trooper and maybe be in cover, assuming nothing's behind the trooper. Or we could attack the mech. I'm gonna go for the gunner. Why is my frame rate so bad? Okay, we got the gunner. So I got one. Okay. I'm gonna move here. And instead of attacking someone, actually I could attack someone, but I'm going to use the computer. I'm gonna hack the workstation. Just because I know that sometimes mechs have rockets and I don't want them to blow up the computer. All right. Oh. We have a 25% chance to in permanently make this soldier better at hacking? Let's do that. I mean, even if we don't get it, which we didn't, we still get the objective. Piece of cake. Okay, we got the data. Whatever that data was, I don't know. Okay, let's go here. And then I guess... We could just blow up the mech. Let's see, that's two to five damage. So maybe not, actually. Let's let's fire our weapon at the mech. There, that did four damage, which is basically the same as five damage because of the armor. Okay. Where can we go that we can attack on this turn? Anywhere? Well, we can go there and we can't attack this turn. We can go there and we can't attack this turn. Let's go there. So I don't think there's anywhere we'll actually be able to attack from, on that character at least. We've got 100% to hit the, the mech and 100 or almost 100% to hit the 
trooper. Let's go for the mech. The mech is probably more dangerous than the trooper. Okay, we got the mech. How many people do we have left? Two, I think. Oh, we also have death from above. So let's start moving forward. Yeah, let's go behind this cover. So we do have two people left. I think I can hit them from there, yeah. Or at least we can try hitting them. 77%? And it's a flank. Well, it did two damage. I think it's only got one health left. Yep, one health left. We've got no ammo, but we have a free reload. Which means we can now move down. I don't see a place where we could be in cover and attack them, unfortunately. And we also can't get close enough to grab that item on this turn. So I'm going to put them behind this cover. All right. Wait, how are they flanked? They've got a wall between them. What? I don't understand that. What? What can see them? Is that cover in the wrong direction somehow? No. I don't know. Well, it's a good thing we're a shinobi. Because we can just ignore that enemy. Or that enemy's cover, I should say. There we go. All right. There you go. And let's grab that loot. Moving to position. Smart macrophages. I've never seen that one before. I'll have to look up what it means. And because we haven't had a mech before, let's bring it back with us. You can see that pretty much anything that isn't expected to be picked up is messed up in the mod that lets you pick up things. Oh, we can't call the Sky Ranger on that character because we're carrying something. So let's do that. Okay. This is firebrand. Let's see. Hold tight. We can just pick up the enemy soldiers and take them with us. Up and over. The aliens. I'm pretty sure the this mod is, like, Long War 2 is set up specifically so that you don't have to take the order. codex back with you, because it doesn't leave a corpse, and because you normally meet it in a mission like this where you don't get full salvage. So I'm assuming that'll be fine. On your order. Uh, do we have any more enemies? We've got the drone over here, but I'm not going to go that far away. On Overwatch! Just move here, I guess. Not a problem. Okay, we'll move closer. We'll do. And we'll move to another piece of cover. There we go. That should. Oh no, that doesn't end our turn. Do we have anyone left? No, we'll just we'll force end our turn. There we go. There's our evacuation. So now let's evacuate. I don't know why. It says, this is Firebrand, it's time to go for so long. And it doesn't have any audio associated with it, and it blocks other audio from going. But it's weird. It's probably a bug with the mod and not with the game. Now we have audio again. Great. I'm out of here. 
Fantastic. Okay, that's everyone. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, there was one enemy we didn't even see. That's interesting. So that was Operation Hammer Prince. And because closing and reopening the game every time has worked so far to prevent bugs, I'm just going to keep doing that. So let's get back to base and then I'll close the game. Here we go. Figure out what's running in the background and slowing down my frame rate. Looks to me like okay. Just fine. Yeah, let's keep going with the high ground related stuff. Always get the defender line on rangers. Shadow step means that we can just walk past overwatch. Uh, field surgeon means that soldiers who get hurt get hurt less. And I don't know. Let's go with flush. So we can push somebody out of cover. And we've got another sharpshooter. Okay. Commander, please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the Codex brain. We'll begin work on it as soon as possible. So now we have research for alien encryption. And we can disassemble the mech, but I think that's from the mod. Okay, we got a research alien encryption. The form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. So we've currently got a Viper autopsy going. That's almost done, so I'm not going to cancel it. More organized than I had imagined, based on the rumors. So that's all for now. See you next time.